So running Ubuntu on Android used to be this huge complicated process where you had to rig your device and do all this crazy stuff, but now it's very easy and you don't have to do any of that thanks to an app called Termex. So you can find Termex free within the Google Play Store. It is an Android terminal emulator that creates a Linux-like environment. So using Termex, what we can do is we go and open it and we're gonna download a package which will allow us to manage different pro distributions. So type in the following command, package install pro distro, and we can use this to install the Ubuntu package. So hit enter, and now type in pro distro install Ubuntu 20.04 to install Ubuntu any pro environment. And once it completes, what we can do is do a pro distro login, Ubuntu 20.04 to log in. And that's basically it. Now you should be inside of Ubuntu. And we can check the OS release file just to confirm that yes, this is Ubuntu. So now let's go and update the uh, package formation. So let's do an apt get update. And next thing I want to do is set up and configure open SSH server just so I can connect to this from my desktop and don't have to use the on screen keyboard. So to do that, let's do an app install open SSH server and go and download that. And next what we're going to do is change that root password. So PASSWD to change the root password. And now we need to go and configure the SSHD config file using the nano editor. And what we need to do is change the port number since to something that's different from the default. So we can't use port 22 because you're not rooted. So change it to a port number that's higher than 1024. So we can use port 2022 or something of that nature. And now we also need to go and change one more thing to allow or permit root login. Yes, I know, not super secure, but don't worry, you know, we'll live with it. So then hit Control O to save and Control X to exit the nano editor. And finally, let's go and restart open SSH server. So type in service SSH restart. And you should be ready to SSH into. One more thing, if you do need to figure out the IP address of your phone, you can type in if config and look at your WLAN zero address. And I'll tell you the IP address of your phone so you can connect to it or know what you're connecting to via SSH. Now finally, on your SSH client, type in SSH and the IP address followed by the port that you created, so 2022 for me, and boom, you should be inside of Ubuntu. So guys, that is how you can run Ubuntu on your Android device. Like I said, it's pretty easy and there's a lot of cool things you can do with this. If you like this video, go hit that thumbs up button. If you wanna see more videos I upload, go hit that subscribe button. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And as always, thank you for watching and stay tuned for another galvanizing video. Thanks.